Fox and Flower. Ready, 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 ready. Finish him. This week's math question comes from Morgan H. She hit me on YouTube. She wants to know, Margot has 40 milliliters of 25% solution. How many milliliters of a 60% solution should she add to obtain the required 30% solution? In the comments below, comment on how to spell milliliter. Okay, I recommend a chart. And this is our chart. We have two solutions in a total a percent, an amount, and a contribution to the entire mixture. This is a mixture problem, so we're gonna go and we're gonna fill out this chart. Let's start. Now, Margo has 40 milliliters of a 25% solution. How many? 40 of a 25%. That's how we write decimals as percents. So Margo has 40 milliliters of a 25% solution. How many milliliters of a 60% solution should she add to obtain the required 30% solution? All right, so what is she adding? She's adding a 60% solution. Do you know how much of that solution she's gonna add? No, put X there. All right, what's required? A 30% solution is required. So that's 30%, but how much? Oh, I don't know. Let's call that Y. Now, when we're talking about contribution, we're gonna take the percent times the amount and that's gonna be the contribution. And that's what's happening here. This is 0.25 times 40, which is gonna be a fourth of 40 or 10. Then, I wanna go through and I wanna see what 60% of X is. We don't know how much that is, but I can write that as 0.6X. Now, this is 30% of Y. Well, point three times y. And what does this lend us to? Two equations with two unknowns. There's an amount equation and a contribution equation, and I'm gonna write those over here. What do we have? We have oh, x, whoop, pardon. We have 40 plus x is equal to y. And you're like, why? Well, um, this plus that is equal to that because that's the total. Now, let's get the contribution equation by taking 10 plus 0.6x, and that's gonna be equal to 0.3y. Now, we have three, yeah, that works. We have three legitimate ways to solve a system of equation. We have substitution, elimination, and graphing. Probably not gonna graph. So, I recommend substitution cause this one's already solved for y. Then, if this is one and that's two, then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put one into two, and that's what I do right here. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have 10 plus 0.6x is equal to 0.3 times y. What's y? I heard 40 plus x is the new y, and then I am gonna put that right here. That's 40 plus x. What's next? Well, now we've taken an equation with two unknowns and made it one unknown, and we're gonna solve it so linearly. So then we are gonna leave this alone. And on the right side, it goes, it goes, it goes, ooh, ooh. 0.3 times 40 is 12, plus 0.3x. Now, what's next? I got x's on both sides, when I'm on one side, which side? Don't care. Well, hair, I'm probably gonna move that there by subtracting off that 0.3x. By subtracting off that 0.3x, what's next? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have 10, plus 0.3x, because that's what that difference is, and then that's gonna be equal to 12. Now I'm gonna get the constant on that side by subtracting off that 10. Then I have 0.3x is equal to two. Ooh, I'm gonna take it right on over here, because I have that 0.3x is equal to two. How do I undo division? How do I undo multiplication with a little bit of division in our lives? So then I divide both sides by 0.3. I divide this side by 0.3. And we can see that x is gonna be six and two thirds milliliters. 
We'll just call it ML. Yeah! Fox and flower.